Well, let's talk more about the scandals that uh, Mr Netanyahu is embroiled in. Lisa Goldman is an Israel policy expert and contributing editor at Plus 972 magazine and joins me now live from uh, Montreal in Canada. So uh, Mr Netanyahu's visit uh, very warmly received uh, in the US, but how far has that visit been overshadowed by uh, what's going on at home? Because he, he's suffering, um, facing several uh, corruption cases. Yes, he is. Um, as you probably uh, noticed, he didn't uh, mention that at all during this trip. Um, the Israeli media has not hesitated to point out that Netanyahu's trip to um, to the States at this point in the investigation against him by the police is probably feeling like a bit of a spa holiday. Um, he was interrogated by the police under caution the day before he left for Washington. Um, his coalition is now threatening to fall apart uh, over a different unrelated matter. Um, he has a lot of problems and a lot of headaches to deal with in Israel. Uh, and meanwhile, he lands in the United States and he's greeted by uh, Trump, who offers President Trump, who offers him an embrace and a lot of praise. And then he addresses 18,000 people at the APAC conference and he gets standing ovations and cries of We Love You, Bibi, which is his nickname, as your, uh, as your audience probably knows. So he's probably feeling that this has been a very nice respite from some very serious problems waiting for him at home. Uh, yeah, and the irony is, of course, that um, President Trump also has popularity problems uh, in his domestic audience. So for, for both of them, um, how much does this trip, uh, this meeting between the two men at the White House, give both of them a political boost back home? Yes, it does play to their base. For Netanyahu, the fact that um, the President of the United States not only embraced him um, and provided him with a rather rare and prestigious photo op with uh, the President, the Prime Minister, and their two wives sitting in the Oval Office for a photograph, um, that speaks very strongly to Netanyahu's base back home. Um, and, of course, Trump also doubled down on um, his um, de declaration of, of the United States recognizing Jerusalem as the capital of Israel, which has also been quite controversial. Um, and during the, um, the, 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 the press conference after their two-hour meeting at the White House yesterday, um, President Trump walked back his, uh, his insistence on brokering the deal of the century, i.e. the peace deal between the Palestinians and Israel, and basically telling a reporter, well, if the Palestinians don't want to come to the table, then there just won't be peace. Uh, and Netanyahu was captured on camera offering a very satisfied smile to the cameras uh, at that point. Um, and I think it is significant that um, a poll that was conducted uh, just a couple of days ago and broadcast by Israel's Channel 10 uh, shows that Netanyahu's party, the Likud, is actually doing extremely well right now, despite the uh, rather uh, serious political uh, consequences of his coalition falling apart and, of course, the ongoing corruption investigation into his affairs, which um, is very serious indeed. Lisa, good to get your thoughts. So thank you very much indeed for joining us. Lisa Goldman there in Montreal.